The main goal for today is I am going to attempt to put together this Harbor Freight folding utility trailer. I have no idea what the actual quality is on it, but it was cheap on a coupon, and we've been needing some sort of trailer for a while, and I don't have a place to store a trailer. So the folding trailer was ideal. I can roll it in here. I can roll it back out outside when I need to work in here, just like I do with the motorcycles. And, uh, hi, kitty. The owner keeps a couple of kitties out here, keep the mice down. He's got chickens and... Somebody else keeps horses out here, so it's got a very park-like atmosphere. So I'm going to set you down, and we are going to go to work. All right, let's get all this stuff out, kind of sort it a little bit. Wow, that's the axle, huh? I don't know too much about welding, but that looks pretty crappy. This one up here doesn't even look like it wetted in on the sides. This one looks okay, except that they undercut really bad up here. This one, they undercut, then it goes cold, then they undercut, then it goes really cold with pen, and then, <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but that's the quality of the welds on this thing this is yeah I guess it is true you kind of get what you pay for now, if I have any problems with this I can uh, do some work reinforcing it I hope they're freaking tr true and square to the it's hard to tell as badly bowed as that is, and crap, I wouldn't count on it. Looks like an extra wheel lug in there. It's laying in the bottom of the box. Let's see how close are we to spit? Whoa. Shocking me, actually. <laughs> I mean, wow. I was completely amazed. I didn't think it would be anywhere close to it as loosely as I did right now. Oh, one thing I will say, I want to give a quick plug. When I came time to buy the, the welder, I asked about the people where I work who professional welders and hobby welders alike where to go to get where I should go to get my tanks filled or get tanks and get them filled and buy the welder. I've got several recommendations for uh, industrial welding supply here in uh, Albany, Oregon. They have locations all over Oregon, but Albany one. Well, actually, first, the, the true story is uh, I went by the one in Eugene because I happened to be driving by and went, "Hey, I wonder, you know, what their their price actually is." So I stopped in there and talked to them, and they were able to give me all the prices and information. And, even though they knew they weren't going to make the sale, but I guess they don't work on commission at the counter there. Uh, anyway, great people to work with. I came, I took the information they gave me, he wrote it down on a card, and 
brought it up here to Austin with me and gave it to them and they got it ordered. Now the, the welder took a month to come in. That wasn't their fault though. It was on back order from the manufacturer. So took a month to come in, but they are excellent people to deal with. Great customer service, very friendly, willing to help. So highly recommended. Now for reasons that we'll go into later, after the story has completely played out, don't order this stuff online through Amazon. Do not order this stuff, especially either through Amazon, through eBay, or from their own website from a company called JB Tool Sales in uh, Michigan. Horrible. It appears the only person there, it looks to me to be a drop ship operation. Um, so they don't even stock any of this crap. Can't confirm that, but the only, if you look across the internet, the only good reviews are ones where there was no hitch. Nothing went wrong. So they had no interaction other than placing the order and getting the part. Anytime anything goes wrong, nothing but complaints about the customer service and the, per the name that's always mentioned whenever there's a name mentioned is the same guy I dealt with, Jason. I'm thinking he just is the business in this dropship business. He has stores, he has his own online page with store, and he has Amazon and uh, eBay that I know of. Horrible customer service. Won't do anything for you, won't help you out, and uh, he got my, uh, no, well, I'll go into it later, but I'll have a whole talk about that if I keep posting videos, plus it's in my blog. The first part half is in my blog, you can check it out. And uh, I will finish it up. Once I get the story plays out some more, I will uh, go over exactly what went on. And uh, I will probably make a video as well, given the whole story. Let's just say the experience buying this welder, uh, other than my interactions with... Uh, Industrial welding supply. Um, I bought the uh, TIG torch because this was on back order, and I didn't want to have any more delays. Uh, I realized I hadn't ordered the TIG torch for it. I bought it online. There were problems, and this guy did not want to help whatsoever. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna have to beat that bracket out. It's on there so crooked. This one even come down now. Do the back. Uh. This ought to 
the way. That should be right. Real freaking close to. to take everything out while I do it. So the bolt that comes from the side and the bolt that comes from the top are in perfect line and the bolts they have you using are so long that they hit each other. <laughs> yeah, this, they didn't prep this at all or whatever, I don't know, the paint is just coming off every time you touch it. And it just breaks off all over this piece. Holy crap, I still have a lot of bolts left to go. think good idea or bad idea greasing the, the bolt that's used and the, the slide point on the, the spring it's done so you know I can always take it apart and clean the crap out if it turns out it's a really bad idea but Go ahead and give me your thoughts, leave your comments. That's part of what this is all about. I don't know everything. Far, far, far from it. So, 
constructive comments are always appreciated. They don't give any torch specs, they don't... Nothing like that. Just says, tighten up. Does that mean really, really tight reef on it? Or does that mean tighten it up, but so it doesn't loosen up, but... You don't want to necessarily completely pinch that spring in there. Just snug those up enough and so they don't kind of loosen up on the road. And with the cotter pins in there also to make sure that doesn't get it too loose. But I don't want to sandwich these things in here and take it a puzzle. They up. Oh, they just have a plastic bushing inside the spring, and it's not even as wide as the spring. So if I had to tighten it up too much, I can collapse this U-channel down. So it is collapsing a little bit as I tighten there. Collapse it right down against that spring spring and bind everything up. You know, I don't know this how long this camera's gonna last. It keeps dying on me. That one just went dead. And I'm not gonna be here long enough to take the time to charge it up so I can go for another round. I'm just gonna leave things right as they are. Turn the lights off. Right, I pull the two bikes in and go home for the night. Adios for the night, YouTube.